Hey Aries, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your bonus beginning of July general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So I just want to put this out here because you may hear my voice crack a little bit. I was singing at the highest capacity last night. So my voice, I'm, I'm just trying to get my voice back in tow. So that's, I'm not sick. I'm well. Because I know you guys be worried about me in the um, comment section. No, I'm fine. I was singing, literally singing all night. So I'm surprised I even have a voice to even work with today. So there's that. Okay. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was AT Aliens by Outkast. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. So I got a couple messages messages with that. Now, first and foremost, two of the members, you know, the members in Outkast is, who is it? Andre 3000 is a Gemini and Big Boy is a Aquarius. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini or Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus individual. Also, in your pre-shuffle, you had Pisces, Scorpio, and Leo. So these could be placements of individuals that you are dealing with or something in your chart, okay? Um, the message that I was given with that, again, the name of the song is AC Aliens. First of all, someone could reside in Atlanta or was born in Atlanta. Also, AC Aliens is literally like... When you think about the word alien, alien means foreign. So you could be dealing with someone who is a different nationality than you. Also, it could be that somebody's acting strange, like, you know, foreign, like something is different from what you're used to with this individual. I feel like somebody is dealing with some, some circumstances where it just feels like things are just weird. Like something feels off and you may be a little suspicious or somebody may be feeling like that about you. But somebody, I, I'm, I'm just, I keep getting that somebody feels like something is off, like something is very weird. And it's not, it's, something isn't adding up is the message that I'm getting overall, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. I'm gonna change the cards at the top and the bottom of the deck. We'll do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there are absolutely no reversals in either one of the decks right now. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have, wow. And I'm gonna tell you guys, in your pre-shuffle, this, this, I was picking up the deck and this card literally fell out. Now, here's the thing. Wheel of Fortune. I feel like somebody, there's like a stroke of good luck here in someone's way. Some fortunate and destined events. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're single, it does definitely look like something very positive is coming in for you as far as love. And I did mention Leo in the very beginning of the reading. You do have that lion right here at the very top. I feel like you could be meeting someone in Leo season. Okay, you got the six of swords behind it. I feel like some of you all may have recently left a relationship, but it does look like something positive is going to come in to replace it, possibly, very much possibly in Leo season, which will be at the end of this month. Leo season starts at the end of this month. Also, I'm going to say again, I'm just getting something with form. Like somebody could literally be at a distance from you and they're coming towards you or someone already came towards some of you all in June because you do have the six of swords here, possibly in Gemini season because swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and Gemini season is in June also. Yeah, some of you guys definitely had a new start or it's coming in towards you with a full card. And I literally was saying Gemini energy in one hand, he does have a Gemini symbol. And in the other, you have cancer. And we are currently in cancer season. And cancer season did start in June. So for a lot, I'm telling you, for a lot of you guys, you're getting ready to meet somebody. And I feel like this person could be at a distance from you. Again, for some of you all, this person could definitely be a different nationality. Now, if you're already in a relationship, it does look like something could be moving forward. But I'm going to say again, there's an energy of something, something being a little peculiar. Because if you look at her, she does have this hood on. And you guys know for me, the hoods talk about like some type of hidden energy. like Because it looks like she's sneaking away in the night. So you could be feeling like somebody is doing something sneaky behind your back. Even here with the fool, he has this mask. See, and look what's right up under that. And I always tell you guys, look how he looks. He does not look trustworthy. He looks sneaky. Even right here, he has on a mask, which and you can't see what he completely looks like. So it's, it's something hidden here, or someone assumes that there's something hidden. I'm going to tell you, even if there is something hidden, this is actually something faded and destined to happen, and you're going to find out about it. You're definitely going to find out, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. Could be dealing with an Aries yourself, or this could, I just feel like, if you're not dealing with a fellow Aries, it's definitely an energy of, like I said, it's faded and destined for you to find something out. That's just the truth of it, okay? I feel like for a lot of you all also, 
there's a strong energy of money being more of a focus than love, even if you're in a relationship. And also, if it is regarding money, which I do feel like that is the case for a lot of you all, I definitely feel as though some of you all may have to travel for work. You may have to relocate. And again, I know this is a love reading, but I am getting it. Okay, so you guys know I want to get the card because before and after your card, but since it already popped up when I um part of the deck, I'm going to shuffle it a couple times and see what you get. For some of you guys, you definitely got new love coming in, possibly in cancer season or with a cancer Pisces or Scorpio individual. Yeah, as soon as I said that, look at that Pisces hangman. I feel like somebody's gonna some something is getting exposed. Because I always say the fact that he's hanging upside down, but the pinnacles are falling out. Something that somebody has been concealing is getting ready to be exposed. Hmm. Something could be with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Ten of Pentacles and you had Pentacles falling out of his pocket. It could be with an earth sign for some of you all. Wow. And as I'm shuffling, it stopped here again. So yeah, it's time for me to stop shuffling because you keep getting the same card. I'm going to say this again. Whatever the situation is, it's destined to fade it. And it's actually going to bring you some good luck. Even if it's like something you guys have a tower moment, I still feel like it's something faded and destined. And now at the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to say this again. For a lot of you all, it's either with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or it definitely has something to do with your money. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles, the actual work life, the nine to five. Something could definitely be happening in August. And I did mention Leo. Leo season is the end of July, but it ends in August. I feel like a lot of you all, because he has tunnel vision, he doesn't even notice the Pentacles over his head because he's so focused on this one Pentacle. A lot of you guys, you're going to be more focused on your money. Again, even if you're in a relationship, it's like your money. And if this is not you, for some of you guys, you could be assuming that your person is doing something that they shouldn't be doing. I feel like if they're telling you that they're working a lot, they're doing overtime, it, this could very well be true. But I feel like the way they're going about it makes things look suspicious, okay? So let's go through the deck here. Whew, I just said suspicious and look at that. The moon, things hidden, things unknown, things you do not have clarity about, secrets. I feel like it's gonna come to the surface in cancer season, which we are currently in. And if you notice, we just had this in the very beginning and she's going towards the moon. So that's why I said whatever it is you're gonna find out about this also could be involving somebody that you work with as well, you know? Whew, yeah, okay, I just want to show you guys this. You're going to find something out. Look at that. There's some type of, you know, you have the high priestess. There's, there's like, intuitively, you can kind of sense that something is going on, but I feel like you're going to find out that it's something involving someone's work. Ooh, okay. So it, I am hearing that somebody could be suspecting that someone is dealing with someone at their workplace. Like if you're in a relationship, you may be suspecting that or your partner may be suspecting that about you. That wouldn't be for everyone, but I did just hear that. Someone's first, middle, last initial could be J, B, C, O, U, M, W, or H. Okay. So let's go ahead and yeah, because I just seen a three of um, swords. Somebody could be assuming that someone's doing something with someone that they work with. Okay. So, and I mentioned earlier, air sign energy also, you do have Aquarius right here, okay, with the lovers in front of you, and then right behind it, <laughs> the queen of pentacles. Now, I'm laughing because I was telling you guys, for some of you all, it's definitely an energy of, like, thinking somebody is dealing with someone at their job. I do want you to see, you see how they're facing, and you guys' energy is right in the middle. It is two strong female energies here. It doesn't have to be females, it could be two men also. Ooh, I'm telling you, I feel like somebody may be assuming that someone's dealing with someone from their job. Or you may have met someone at your job, but this person may be in a relationship. Or vice versa, this could be you also. You have strong Aquarius energy here with the star. Taurus with the queen of pentacles. But I'm also going to tell you what I'm getting here on the, on the most positive note. I just want you guys to look at this again, okay? You got the star card. That's wish fulfillment and healing. And then you have the queen of pentacles. For a lot of you all, male or female, however, this applies. I really feel very strongly like a wish is about to come true with both love and finances. That's what I'm getting overall. Now, with this song, because I'm, I'm still hearing the hook to the song, AT Aliens, I feel like this could come out of nowhere. Like, some, this could feel foreign, like... You may have been going through something negative for a long time as far as love and finances. And then now all of a sudden something very positive is coming in. Is what I'm getting at this point. Hmm. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, you guys got a big win coming in for you. You got the six of wands. You just had the six of swords. So you left something and now you're coming into something positive. You had those two sixes. 
Yeah. June could have been a big month for a lot of you all. But this is also a card of Leo as well. So I'm going to say this again for a lot of you all. Some type of wish is coming true with love and um, finances very strongly in Leo season. And I know we're doing this for the beginning of July, but Leo season again starts in July. So, yeah. Let's let's shuffle and see what we get here. <laughs> you got the Seven of Swords, Liar, Cheater, Manipulator, Sneak, Conniver. I'm going to tell you, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm getting two scenarios here. For a lot of y'all, there's positivity with love and money coming in. And for others, you suspect some type of trickery and sneakery. I said that. I was saying that in the very beginning. You're going to find out. Remember I was saying you're going to find out in cancer season? You have seven right here. We're in the seventh month in this cancer season. So a lot of you guys are going to find something out. I feel like it really has to do with like money and love, workplace stuff. Hmm. Could be a new person at someone's job. That somebody's real flirty with or somebody's flirty with your person or with you. Because I'm hearing flirty behavior. Bottom of the deck, you got the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so again, the Nine of Pentacles is a single woman, single man. In reverse, this person could possibly not be single. And that's what I'm saying. Somebody is flirting with somebody's partner. Or it could be someone that you just met. They're not telling you that they're single. Also, again, because this was in reverse, it definitely gives me the vibe that a lot of you all won't be single for long. I, there's two different scenarios here. You would have to apply. So if you know that you're in a relationship, then you know the other one wouldn't apply to you. But what I'm getting right here is definitely new love, new money. Very positive, like very stable with the finances, being able to purchase things and have a more concrete foundation up under you. This would be, a, if this is a new job, this would be something that you would be able to be, you know, you'd be able to work in this for a long time. You're going to be very happy about it. So let's get your clarifiers for the star card. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals, okay? Hmm. You got two of cups in reverse, and I said this earlier, right? For a lot of you all, you felt like things were not going your way with love and money, but I feel like that's shifting because keep in mind, any card that a major arcana kind of comes with, it trumps it. So I feel like in the past, you did not, you know, you didn't feel like love was on your side or the universe was on your side when it comes to love, but you have the major arcana, kind of, the star card, so that's that's changing for you. I knew that was going to be the case with this with this energy here. I'm gonna come off a sharp. Yeah. And again, it could definitely be something with Leo. Because you got that lion again. Someone could have a Leo rising. Or more than anything, like I said, the star card is wish fulfillment and healing. So that could be a shift in Leo season when it comes to love. Because this two of cups could be a breakup, but it also could be that you're just not in union with anyone. Because two of cups is a card of union, also. Let's get a clarifier for the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like I just heard fools rush in. Some of you guys are also preserving your energy because you may have recently went through some type of breakup. So you won't be so quick to jump into something else. Also, it definitely could have been involved in an Aquarius or a Gemini. Let's get a clarify for the Queen of Pentacles. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Queen of Pentacles. Love and money is going to look good for you guys. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Just as I said, love and money, you got the three of pentacles working and building together. For some of you guys, it's definitely going to be like some type of workplace romance or something is going on with work. Because this is establishments, working together, foundations, things like that. But I feel like more than anything, like you guys are getting ready to be in a situation where there's going to be advancement. You're going to have people who want to build with you, who want to grow with you. And I was literally mentioning with this card... You're going to be able to set a solid foundation, you know. This always gives me the vibe of, like, this. somebody's holding a contract, a marriage contract, a contract for, like, a, a lease, buying a home together, renting an apartment, something like that together. It, it's, it's an energy of building and working together with somebody. And I like this energy because you have the two, okay, you start off with the two of cups in reverse and the three, so there's advancements, okay. There's things, because, again, in reverse, you're not in union, these two people are in a union and they're coming together. And it's, it's something with legalities. Because that's definitely like a contract. That's getting a place together. Getting engaged. You know. Starting a business together. And then also, like I said, on the other, on the flip hand. Somebody definitely could be in like. With someone that they work with. But I do feel like if it's someone that you work with. You may not know that much about them. Or they may not know that much about you. And somebody's already in a situation. 
Like somebody may already reside with someone there. Somebody already has a domestic situation um, that you or someone doesn't know about. Because this would definitely, I would be getting that this is definitely newer stuff. If it's like somebody that you work with is what I'm getting there. Okay. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.